you're gonna add a falling leaves effect like this to your game in less than five minutes. So let's get started. I'm gonna assume you already have a node which you want to have this effect placed on. In this case, I've got these trees, which you probably have something similar to. The first step is to create a leaf sprite or find one online. I made this one in a sprite super quickly. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and import that sprite into your game's resources. I'm turning off the filter here because it's pixel art and the filter will make it look blurry. Once you have the sprite, add a particles 2D node to your scene tree. Create a new particles material, then scroll all the way down to the textures tab. Import your leaf texture there. Now we're ready to mess around with some variables. The most important one is gravity. It's gonna tell the leaves to fall sideways as well as down. I'm putting mine to 125, but you should tweak it and do whatever looks best to you. After that, we need to change the emission shape into a box that fits whatever you want the leaves to come from. Since I've got a large row of trees, I'm gonna fiddle with this quite a bit until I'm happy with it. I think that's good enough. As you can see, it's already coming together pretty nicely, but there are some things we can improve upon. We can change the initial velocity and add some randomness so that some of the leaves move quicker than others. Here, I'm just doing the same thing I did to the initial velocity. I'm tweaking it until it looks good, then adding a bit of randomness. Now a really important thing to make this look good is by adding an angle curve. That way the leaves rotate as they fall. Again, I'm just adding some randomness so that no two leaves are the same. It would take about half an hour to go over all these properties, so I'm gonna recommend that you fiddle with them on your own and learn a bit about what each one does. Finally, personally, I'd like to make the leaves get a little smaller over time and then fade out. To do that, we can add a scale curve that starts at one and then ends at zero. We can also mess with the lifetime of the particles and the amount a bit, but again, this is entirely up to you. Personally, I have the amount set to 10 with a lifetime of two seconds. I think that's looking pretty good, so I think we're done. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and again, thank you for watching.